gentlemen, this is the third heat for the Golden Grappler Trophy to be wrestled over eight three-minute rounds. And yes, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Presenting on my right in the red corner from Lancashire, Tally Ho K. <laughs> J.K. Johnny So our first bout is almost a main bout, as the as, uh, as the main uh, the main bout. The number two will be here this afternoon because it's a Golden Grappler Trophy quarterfinal number three, along with Greg Valentine from Millbank, Yorkshire, and Mick McMichael of Doncaster, who are already in the semi-finals of the Golden Grappler Trophy. One of these men, Johnny Kidd on the right, the tall one, or uh, Tally Ho Peter K, will be joining those two in the court semi-finals. Here we go for round one of eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or not try to decide the winner. And no worry with identification in this particular bout with uh, Peter Kay and his name right across his backside and his white uh, straps around his jod uh, jodpent uh, legs. Too curious mixture of gear, but it's pretty effective to, for the identification point of view. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. And Peter Kay, the one with the most experience, of course, but he's giving away a lot of height and a lot in speed and agility here. I think he might find a little surprise coming his way. No good following up with that with Johnny Kidd's feet right under the bottom rope. Kid certainly held onto that, all right. Still the double-handed wrist lever on Kay's left hand. And referee Roy Harding of Croydon, we'll see in a minute. There he is on the left. In the neutral corner. Johnny Kidd from Luton, a 12-stone six. Uh, uh, no. One of the many uh, uh, middleweights on, in this uh, Golden no. Grappler Trophy no. tournament. No. But not necessarily all middleweights. Some of them welters, some of them even into the heavy middles. Okay. Anxious, of course, to get into this uh, Golden Grappler Trophy. I remember that about 32 wrestlers came into this to begin with. We first for the quarterfinals, and we'll be seeing the semifinals on May 3rd and the final on May 10th, which is Cup Final Day. Will Peter be amongst them? Six away, round two. Round two, seven to go, no score. Johnny Kidd versus Peter Kay in this. Quarterfinal number three for the Golden Grappler Trophy.
Two falls to decide this one. Roy Harding, the referee, making sure that uh, doubly sure there's no inside moves from Kay, as uh, his wont. The double arm is on. K with his suplex. If he can try it. Close stone six. Let's see if he does. He's thinking about it. He can't get out of that, don't worry. Meantime, K weakening fairly effectively, even if he doesn't produce the suplex from it. So got it. Get out of trouble, much to the delight of the crowd. It's certainly the popular one here. And not only because he's up against... Johnny Kidd again with his double hand for a sleever. on the bell, round two. <laughs> there he is, close up, Johnny Kidd of Faluton, 12 town sex, uh, trained by the old maestro Ken Joyce. I'm sure you remember him, he's still a referee now, but hasn't long since he's retired from wrestling. He's a great lad, coming along a bundle, he still looks, lacks a bit basic power. A bit tall and lean. Sings away, round three. But let's hope he can spring a surprise here and at least stay in this bout with the much more experienced <laughs> Peter Kay. <laughs> so round three, six to go. Not a sign of a score so far. Peter K on the attack with the side head chancery. <laughs> Trying to make a grovet out of this. There it is, the grovet. Johnny Kidd wisely goes right down to the canvas. At least Peter K can't get the lift from there. He can't get out of that. And he shouldn't be able to get out of a gravit, but uh, Johnny Kidd going out of canvas there rather cleverly. I thought he might uh, alleviate the situation. There's the target. See if he gets the suplex in. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, I see 
see if Trey follows that up with more back weak news after that posting. Yes, he's going for the single leg boss and immediately to roll on the ropes. And you'll be forced to break. Bit unlucky from Trey's point of view that. Just a, didn't have quite enough mat to play with. Peter Tallyho K. Originally from Nelson, Lancashire. 12 stone two now. And uh, exceedingly worried about his left leg for that treatment. Six away, round four. Round four, five rounds to go, and still no score. Two falls to decide this bout for the, the quarterfinal of the Golden Grappler Trophy, and the winner of this goes no. along to the semi-finals no. of the Golden Grappler Award. No. No. There's the suplex again. But he doesn't seem to be paying him very good dividends here. In fact, he's more worried about the left leg than Johnny Kidd is his back. Johnny Kidd can go for that left leg again. Single leg Boston in position again, but yes, there it is, he's on. And a submission is on. But Johnny Kidd pretty. Yes, he's submitted. He's submitted. So the first one that came round four. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, in round four. The first submission of the contest goes to the right corner, Tally Ho K. In just one minute, five seconds of the fourth round. So we're halfway through the bout, and Johnny Kidd in trouble now with his left leg. Both men are worried about their left legs, but Johnny Kidd especially. Six. They go for round five, and Johnny Kidd's got to come out from the ropes there and defend himself, and of course, Kay will go straight for that left leg immediately, no doubt about that. Straight for the left leg, and Kate going for the second and winning submission. This time, Johnny Kidd managing to avoid getting the turn. Well, looked like a punch from here. Impossible to tell from this side of the ring, but looked very like it. Kidd knows whether it was or not. Kid might submit from the back breaker that it causes. On the other hand, he might produce a victory roll here and get an equalizer. There it is. And he has to fold up from that headstand. A beautiful trip by Kid gets the equalizing fall.
equalised in full to Johnny Kidd. In just one minute, 22 seconds of round five, the equaliser to Johnny Kidd, but there are still three rounds to go. Now, Kidd's left leg still worrying him over there. Perhaps we can have a look at that again. It was a very neat move indeed off the ropes there. Kidd, the, rather the advantage to Kay there before Kidd came back, and a very nice comeback it was with that folding press. Look how he goes into the uh, wrestler's bridge and holds quite easily. Three to go as we start round six. Six away, round six. Now, one fall each. One submission to Kay in the fourth, equalised by... Johnny Kidd's fall in the fifth. Beautifully done, right against the joint. Three, four, five, six. Just a wee bit early, you're still on the canvas. Skillful wrestling you can get from Peter Kay if only he keeps the rules. And he's got another submission possibility on here. A toe hold of the folded leg. Figure four on there, very definitely by Kay. Holding it on with both hands at the moment. Don't think you'll get a submission for it. Just a minute left in the sixth. What's the matter? Break the hold! Hang on the ropes. Bloody much. Well, the left leg of Johnny Kidd seems to have settled down a bit now. Uh, if you can take that figure four leg up for that long time, which is a submission hold the way Kay headed on, he should be all right for the rest of this bout. There's only a couple of rounds after this one. Just right above us here. Four, five, right on the bell six, of round six. Seven, so Johnny Kidd a bit happier now. At least he's back in the game and he's got the equalizing four in round five. Now the question is whether he can uh, get the winner in the final two rounds. Everybody here at the Packed Dorking Hall, hoping he can, that's for sure. Six away, round seven. Round seven, two to go. as long as he doesn't get himself in. A submission possibility, and there it is. He's on that single leg bossing again, Kay. Now, he's got his leg hooked over the bottom rope. The referee spotted that, so he told him to break. And very hard, he really told him then, too.
inside the left hand. Think I might do so much. And there it is. One minute, 23 seconds of round seven. And so the winner, two to one. The winning submission goes to the red corner, Tally Ho K. And it's Peter K who will go into the semifinals along with Valentine and McMichael.